back to Dot TV. It's your girl Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. Okay. Listen. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead, right? Hit the subscribe button, right? And then I need you to load up the comment section with hashtag Da Cousin Gang, and you'll officially be my cousin. Okay? Okay? You did that. All right. Hey, cuz, hey. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, you already know Shiggy Bam. Mm. Bam. But you already know how we get down. We be like, welcome back. Bang. Hey, bang. Bang. Hey. So, I know it's been a while since I've done the intro. Hmm, judge your big toe. But, um, cousins, we, 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 we need to have a conversation, okay? Hold on. Let me close the door. I'm at my mama's house, but hold on. Hold on. My my mama getting old, y'all, because um this lady and uh these politics can't do it. But um Y'all, we're going to have a conversation, okay? Um, and it ties in with today. I'm going to give a shout out to Shay, um, who does X Bar Fitness. So, I am actually going to try on this top, okay? Because, like I said, everything ties in today. So, I'm pretty glad that I got, you know, I definitely got that. Um, this came in. Because huh, I'm finna come for y'all cousins, okay? I'm finna come for y'all because how can you say you love me, right? But huh, you let me slip like that. Like y'all literally let me slip like that. Minus a few. Huh, I'm gonna say minus a few, okay? But shout out to XPAR, right? Um, Extreme Speed Performance Agility. What is that? Yeah, Agility Excellent. Resistance. Siri I ain't talking to you. So shout out to my girl. Um, she is um a phenomenal woman. Okay. Um, she is so down to earth. She is a whole vibe, and she has a um she sells fitness clothes. So I'm gonna put the top on for y'all. Okay, and we're gonna see. This is a large, now y'all know. <laughs> now y'all know your girl on the thick side. Thickety thick, thickety thick, okay? But um, y'all, yeah, we gonna talk about this because I am upset with y'all cousins and I am upset with myself, okay? As y'all can see the title, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm tired of being aggressive. I'm tired of having to be so masculine. I'm tired. Like, I'm, your girl is tired, okay? Your girl is tired. So, um, but I realize that I have, to, I have let myself go. I've been going through so much. Y'all, I have been going through so much. Like, I literally look like what I've been going through. Eyebrows ain't arch. Look at my face, y'all. Just look at it. Look how I'm breaking out. Okay? Look how I'm breaking out. Look at these pimples, okay? My hair. Um, you know, the whole situation with my hair. I love the quality on this, y'all. Oh, look, then she got the little thumb holes. Right, she got the little thumb holes up in here. Okay, it is nice, it's thick. I like that the material is thick and it is very stretchy because I am a little busty, and this is a large that I have, and it comes on very easily. I did not have to fight. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my body because, you know, like I said, um, everything ties in. Everything. Oh, this is so comfortable. Oh, my. Okay. It's important for me because I, I did put on weight. So, for me to even be able to lift my hands with no problems, like, it is... It is so comfortable, and even my, um, whatchamacallit, is sitting very nice in there. 
hold on let me get my roll tucked in so that i can get the camera okay so let's go to the mirror y'all all right so this is the x bar this is the top um my bottoms ain't come in yet but this is so comfortable y'all see them rolls <laughs> Y'all see this? Y'all, I put on over 40 pounds, you guys. So, um, right now I am 270, 270-something. 270 but look at this. I like this. So, y'all know I'm about to order every color. Y'all see, like I said, look at the... This is so comfortable. I like this. This is so comfortable. Um, Miss Ma'am, <laughs> can you go ahead and send me black? And you know, I need the all black. Um, and what I do love about the pants as well, I know that it's uh, what she said, lunge proof. Like you know, those that like to squat, um, you know, do the squats and whatnot, lunges, burpees, like. You don't have to worry about it rolling, flipping, and doing all kinds of things, okay? Um, but I am really liking this. And then it has, like, I don't even know what you want to call this, air support. Um, so that air can, you know, circulate through you. Um, even though it's um, nice and thick, I can still feel, you know air coming through so i really i really like that i really like that sis so y'all make sure y'all check her out follow her on instagram at x s p a r a p p a r e l or click in the description box go to the description box i would definitely have her link on there so shout out to you thank you thank you thank you thank you so when I go work out, then I will give you part two of um, the review once I work out. But as far as comfortability, flexibility, and quality, 1,000, period. Okay? So, but yes, it's, um, I'm waiting on the pants to come in, and I want this in black. I want this in black okay so but yeah y'all so look out you see how I'm breaking out um you know I don't put on weight um I just feel like I have to be so aggressive um and I just want to be soft <laughs> I just want to be soft and one of the things that I love especially you know being with my husband um some people gonna feel some type of way about what I'm about to say, but it is what it is. But I can honestly say that um, my husband, and I'm not even, and this is like on God, like this is me being transparent, this is me being real. I'm not throwing no shade to anybody, or I'm not even saying this to gas my husband up, like at all. Um, but he is the first man that i've been in a relationship with where it's okay for me to embrace my femininity where it's okay for me to actually be a woman where it's okay like it, it it's it's okay like his masculinity his you know him being an alpha male it allows me to be a woman and when you've been in <laughs> who praise the Lord um prior to my husband y'all know I was married I got divorced and then I was single um for a little bit um for like three years and then me and my husband we got real acquainted because we known each other since we were eight um, so I was single after my ex-husband and some of the stuff that I have gone through, um, you know, kind of built up to where I am today, right? Um, now I have been healing from some things, 
um, because when you get so accustomed to suppressing, when you get so accustomed to being an autopilot, you don't address things, you know, that you need to address. And I'm over here thinking, you know, in my single period of three years, or it was almost four years of me being single, I'm thinking I did address some things, but of course some stuff surfaced up when um when me and my husband got together right um so and i've been a tomboy not only that i have also been a tomboy my entire life okay so my entire life <laughs> i just been people that know me they'll be like yeah, yeah that that sounds about right i'm talking about your girl used to walk around with I used to sag. I used to wear boxers, boxer briefs. Like, <laughs> let me go ahead and insert a few pictures for you here. Okay, so now you see that. So now it's like, um, now I'm at a place where I'm like, literally, my focus is me. Because as a coach, right? When I'm talking to my, my, my clients or I'm coaching them through either an intense 21 day course or a 90 day course, one of the things that I'm, I'm very adamant about is putting yourself first, right? Because in order for anything, um, your husband, your wife, your, your children, your business, ministry, anything connected to you before they can even get the best part of you you have to allow yourself to become you have to allow yourself to become so that you can be right but what happens when you're dealing with depression what happens when you're dealing with anxiety what happened when life is just whooping your tail what do you do right because it's it is it becomes it's almost as if it's impossible to build in the middle of chaos like elder do you not see all the hell that is breaking loose in my life right now how am i supposed to continue to build how am i how am i supposed to continue to pursue how am i supposed to continue when i can't even it's like i'm getting hit blow for blow blow for blow so this is where i'm at now right because it's like it's either i'm going to rule the chaos or I'm going to let the chaos rule me. And where I'm at, I'm tired of letting the chaos rule me. Because it has pushed me to a place where I have let myself go. It has pushed me to a place where I'm almost desensitized. It has pushed me to a place where I have been an auto an autopilot for far too long and it has caused things to be delayed it has put put me in situations i don't need to be in because i checked out all right so now i'm in a process of not only healing but embracing my soft girl so not only am I dealing with my mental and my emotional and my spiritual, I now have to really address the physical. Like, you know, um, and it's and, and I wanna and I wanna I wanna make this clear. It's it, it's deeper than just getting your hair done, getting your nails done, and getting dressed up. But let's just be real. How you how you carry yourself on the outside, it 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 helps with your attitude. It do help. I don't care what you tell me, okay? Because um this is this is why I love my friend uh, movement girl get up get dressed because in those down moments like I remember I had to fight one time I was just like let me just get cute and it did change my attitude it did change my perspective um, it did lighten up um, how I was feeling and you know and stuff like that so y'all I'm talking about I have to go through a whole reprogramming because there was some malfunctioning okay because when i was um for example when i was with my with my ex-husband okay he didn't want me getting my hair done he didn't want me getting my nails done hell he didn't even want me wearing heels so imagine i haven't wore heels for the four years and change we was together four years all right heels and then when i went through my singleness you know i didn't really i 
fell so far down, I didn't even care to wear heels then. So it's like, now I'm even having to, re having to relearn and retrain myself and rebuild my stamina in wearing heels, okay? And then um, I went back to emotionally eating, right? Because then when I get in my feelings, you know, your girl wanna go over to Japan in and go ahead and get her meal, right? And then when I'm done with Japan in, probably about two, three hours later, I'm over here at Miami Suns. I'm just being real. But what you're not gonna do, you ain't for the judge me, you for the judge your big toe because you might be going through what you going through. So we here, we we here, and this is why I'm getting upset with you, cousin, because it's like, dang, like <laughs> you couldn't send me a text, friend. You couldn't call me up and be like, hey, you tripping, or you know what I'm saying, like cousin. Come on, how you gonna say you my cousin? But you, I've been drinking more alcohol. Did you check for me? But anyways, so, but now I'm in, I'm in this place. That's why I'm so excited that my gear came in because we're about to do 21 days, all right? And <clears throat> this is me putting Elder first because look at this, look, look at my face, y'all. Look at this. Those of you that knows, knows this is, this is, this is not it for me. Okay. <laughs> this is, this ain't, this ain't me. This ain't me. Don't worry. My breath don't stink. But, <laughs> but, uh, so it's just so much like y'all literally I put on, I am literally 270 pounds. 30 more pounds, I'm at 300. That's a problem, cousin. That is a huge mother loving problem. I really want to curse, but praise you, Jesus. You know, we're delivered, but like, that's a problem, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. Like, I'm. I'm 30, I'm 30 pounds away from 300 and yes, by the grace of God, you know, yes, I wear it well, but mm -mm, mm -mm. it don't make no sense coming up the stairs and I be out of breath so quickly. Sometimes I ain't even got to go up the stairs. Like I have to, I have to do better. Let's go sit down because... I'm not going to beat myself up, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I have to do better um, because I want better. I want more, right? And I have to be a good steward, not only in ministry, but in every area of my life. You know, me is me and my husband our two kids, you know, our future kids to come. I want to be able to run around with them and not be <gasps> slow down running now, boy. <laughs> no, we not. We are not gonna be doing that, like at all. Like we're not gonna be doing that at all. But um, so I am scheduling a self care day, um, cause y'all don't even want to see what's under this, okay? Y'all do not want to see what's under this, but I'm actually scheduling a self-care day where we're going to get hair washed and treated. Um, we're going to go get waxed. Um, we're going to get our eyebrows waxed. We're going to get our nails done. And we're actually going to go get a massage because that is another thing. When you're going through all this stuff that you're going through, we also have to keep in mind when we continue to suppress things we're suppressing it in our body and it may show up in a form of high blood pressure um high blood pressure cholesterol diabetes um you know it may trigger your asthma more um cause more tension headaches um all kinds of stuff it has a way or your joints might hurt your joints might be hurting um so 
and I, as for me, I put on the weight so my sometimes my joints hurt and you know my asthma is is quickly triggered. So, and I want you guys to go on this journey with me. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me because one thing y'all heard me say before is I'm being transparent, like y'all glowing up with me. Okay, I don't know what my camera is doing, but um, I think I might have to reset it. But um, y'all know I'm transparent and y'all are glowing up with me. So thank you once again to X Bar for you know my workout gear because uh, baby we finna put that thing to work and y'all keep me lifted because I want to be consistent and I want to be disciplined. <sighs> May the Lord be with me. I was able to successfully do 21 days of no red meat. That was hard because anybody that know me knows I love cheeseburgers okay i'm a burger girl i'm a steak girl okay so i did 21 days no um no red meat so but i have to show up for elda i have to show up for elda so that elda can show up for god her husband her children her business ministry and you guys okay and you guys, I pray that my channel blesses you. I pray that it continues to inspire you, that it continues to encourage you, that it continues to enlighten you and to show you that you can have the life that you desire, right? You just got to put in the work. We have to put in the work. And despite on how we feel, despite what may goes on, we have to learn how to continue to build in the midst of the chaos. And that's what's hard. And that's what the enemy wants you to do. And this is, um, this is what the enemy wants you to do is to stop building when it gets chaotic. Um, but we're not going to do this because 20, 2023 is the year where our lives change. This is the year where you hit new tax brackets. This is the year that you give birth. This is the year of manifestation. This is the year of fruition. Where y'all mama going? What? Man, where the rest of your pants? <laughs> what are us hard pants? But um, but yeah, this is the year, and we're not settling. We are not settling. We settled long enough. We settled long enough. Now it's time to tap in and know what is in you. And it's time for you to know who are you and whose are you. But I love y'all. Be blessed, be encouraged. And remember, you have victory on every side.